or is he black? You know? And to answer that question, sir, to be more politically correct, I'm a black colored. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, what is a black colored? Well, a black colored simply means I'm black enough to get a job, but I'm too colored to get a promotion. It means I'm black enough to marry a black woman, but I'm too colored to play la bola. I'm black enough to be the president of South Africa, but I'm too colored to take a shower. So, uh, in essence, that is what a black colored is. And I noticed this guy, as soon as he said colored, you know, you, you went for his wallet, you know, you went for his wallet. That's fine, so I'm not interested in your wallet. <laughs> I'm more interested in your wife. <laughs> So the other day I was standing with my girlfriend at Pick and Pay, you know, because she picks and I pay. And as we were standing there, this woman came up to me and she said, Sir, you look so familiar. And I thought to myself, man, I do look familiar. And as I looked again, she said, Sir, you know, you look like, you look like Tom Cruise. And I thought to myself, I do look like Tom Cruise. I mean, because, you know, in that industry, it's just lighting and angles, you know, it's just lighting and angles, you know. If I'm standing on this side, you know, with, with the light and the angle that it's me from here, I look like Tom Cruise. And if I stand on, on this side with the lighting and angle from this side, I look like half of the past generations, you know. It's just lighting and angles, lighting and angles. You know what I mean, sir? <laughs> lighting and angles. But the main reason I cannot look like Tom Cruise is because of my hair. Shame, yeah, the shame. Because of my head. And I realized to myself, if my head was related to cell phone calls, then this would be an unknown number. I see this guy smiling over here with the, with the stripes in the head. So if your head was related to cell phone calls, that would be a misfall. Just, just miss. Or please call me, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. It's, it's fine, you know, you're your own person, it's fine. Don't take it personal. <laughs> but you know the funny thing is, my girlfriend told me, Calvin, you know what? You need to take up an extra neural activity. And I thought to myself, you know, why not athletics, you know? Because I mean, that's the only sport, you know, where a gun can go off and where you can run, and you don't have to worry about the police chasing you. So, I thought athletics. And as I was running around the track, I saw this one guy standing alongside the track. And as I did my first lap, I heard in the distance, Oi, faster! And I thought to myself, wow, this guy's actually encouraging me. And he made a little note again. And as I came for my second lap, I went, oi, faster. And I thought, wow, this is so, you know, so, so good for my self-esteem. And as I came for the third lap, man, you know, I just couldn't, you know, my chest just gave in, you know, it's an old smoking injury that I've been dealing with. And as I knelt down, you know, the guy ran to me and he looked at me in my face, man. And he looked at me and he said, Kester? Is that you, Kester Semenyan? May I have your autograph? You know? And I was offended after I gave my autograph because I thought to myself, you know? Lighting and angles, lighting and angles. Lighting and angles. But it's funny, you know, Kester Semenyan has aligned herself with a new sponsor, McDonald's. And that's the most brilliant thing she could ever done. You know, and with the help of McDonald's, she brought out this fantastic meal. I don't know if you guys heard of it, it's called the McFold over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my mom wrote that one. Apparently they say it's more meatier than before, so... I don't know, but, but growing up on the, on the Cape Flats, you know, you, you're bound for some violence. And basically, I'm a survivor. The fact that I'm alive, I'm a survivor, and I'm proud of that. And I was walking with my friend Shaka the other day, you know. We bought ourselves new phones with 33 things. And as we were walking, this two guys approached us, and I thought to myself, hey, you know, something is going to go down. And immediately, I heard in the distance, they looked at me, and they said, excuse me, brothers. I said, give us your cell phones. And I thought to myself, you know, my dad told me two things, sir. When you're in that situation, number one, always pretend that you know the person. So when I heard it, oh, brothers, give us your cell phones, I turned around and I looked at him and I said, Donovan, is that you, Donovan? My word, how you have grown, right? Eh? How's your diabetes? And if that doesn't work, sir, you negotiate. But you can't just negotiate, you need to put on a sad face. So I'm standing there. Donovan. Brother, just give me my sim card. You know, it's my Facebook, it's my Twitter, it's my mixer, it's my everything. And as I look to Shaka, you know, 
So I was proud. He didn't want to give his cell phone. And before he knew it, boom, he was down on the ground. And I thought, wow, what's going on now? And I helped him up. And he just stood up and he gave his cell phone to the guys. And I thought, why? What's going on here? And as he walked away, I said, Shaka, why did you give your cell phone away? And he looked at me and he said, <laughs> it's a right of foot, eh? It's blacklisted, that's why. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Calvin Benson. You guys have been awesome. We're going to put Calvin Benson as a gentleman.